what is up guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be teaching you how to change drive names to make it less obvious that you are in a virtual machine we're going to be making it a little bit more stealthy let's get right into it So first things first, let's go ahead and check out what we are up against. So we're going to go ahead and open up the start menu and we're going to go to our device manager. In our device manager, we can go ahead and open up our disk drive. Here we can see VBox hard disk. So that's a giveaway that we're in a virtual machine. Um, display adapters, virtual box graphics. Um, I believe here VBox again go here this looks fairly normal but it can be a giveaway and other than that we should be good nothing else says virtual box so what we're going to be doing is going into the um the registry and changing our disk drive our display adapter we're going to be changing our dvd slash cd rom drive name and our mice and other input names so we're gonna go ahead and exit out of this. You wanna press the Windows key and the R key at the same time and type in reg edit. Go ahead and click on yes. So what we're gonna to wanna to do from here is go into H key local machine. Now this does work on Windows 10 and Windows 7 and I'm sure it works on eight as well, though I have not tried it on eight. Click on system. You want to go to control set 001. And then we're going to click not open on enum. So whenever we're in enum, we want to be able to change our privileges to actually edit things. So you want to right click and go to permissions. Um, here, we're going to want to click on add and then type in our username, which mine was general. And then press check names just to make sure that you got it right, which I do and press OK. So here we want to actually allow ourselves to do everything, but as you'll notice, whenever we press apply, it gives us an error because we, we don't have access to those permissions yet. So what we're going to want to do is go to advanced and Windows 10, it will show um, the owner right up here at the top and Windows 7, we actually have to click on the owner tab. And then we're going to change the owner to the general. If you're on Windows 10, you're probably going to have to type in your username, but we're just going to click on Windows 7 um, and then we're going to place replace owner on sub containers and objects and press apply on both windows 10 and 7 it's going to give up this message and that's okay and then we're going to press okay one more time as you can see if we press apply we get the permissions but that's still not good enough we're going to want to go back into advanced and then replace all child object permissions with inheritable permissions on this object press apply press yes gives one more little error message but that's okay and then press okay one more time again i think that we're just about good so we're going to press all right and then we can just open up anything inside enum so i'm going to go ahead and open up this and then click on permissions and you should see your name right here if you can see that then we're all good so first things first click on enum and then go to find and then we're going to go ahead and type in this number here. Now I am going to be putting this number in the description, but um, you can go ahead and type it along with me. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a number symbol right here. I'm going to explain that there will be a number symbol in the description, which is why I'm going to be putting that dash one one C E dash B F C. Um, then the number one, then dash zero, eight, zero, zero, two, E, that's a C, B, E, one, zero, three, one, eight. All right, so at this number symbol, this is what we're going to be changing for each search through the, um, the registry here. So the first one that we want to go to is change number sign to a seven, and then click on find next. It'll open up this under the uh, disk v box and then we're going to want to change where it says friendly name now if you don't see friendly name you're all going to want to change the uh, device description but we do see friendly name so we're going to right click and press modify get everything correctly it should just come right up and then we're going to change it to something a little bit more believable than v box to make this thing a bit more stealthy 
Um, my laptop here has the NVIDIA GTX 1080. So that's the one that I'm going to pick. You should probably put whatever your laptop has. I'm going to press OK. That's wrong one. Sorry. We're, we're looking at a hard drive right now. So I'm going to use my HD, my WD elements. And then this is a 100 gig drive. So I'm just going to put 100 G and then press OK. Next, I believe we are going to be changing the uh, the display adapter. So we're going to go back to the enum. Press find, and then we're going to change that seven that we have into an eight. That is a nine. No, what am I doing? Oh, I don't have my num lock on, so I, I switched over. All right, so nine, and then we're going to change the seven to an eight and press find next. So here we're going to change the uh, device description here, I believe. Yes, device description. We're going to modify that into my uh, N NVIDIA display adapter so that's my nvidia gtx or 1080 is it gtx or 1080 gtx 1080 gtx we'll press ok and next we're going to go back up to the top one more time we're going to press find we're going to change that eight five this time press find next again we're going to want to change the friendly name um if we have one Press modify. This is the CD-ROM drive. So I'm just gonna call this CD-ROM. Uh, and this is going to be, I guess I'll just leave it like that. So CD-ROM, uh, you can look in your computer and see what you have. I'm just gonna leave it as CD-ROM for now. Next, we're going to go back up to enum. Right click one last time. Change the five this time to an F. And then press find next. And we're going to change the device description to something that looks a little bit more normal. So we're going to get rid of the PS slash 2. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, and then we're going to type in uh, Logitech here. And press OK. Now we're not done. You want to press F3. You're probably going to have to press it twice because you want to get to a different section of the registry. So we're in a different section. Um, device description one more time and press modify. So I like to just delete this and turn it into a Microsoft compliant mouse. And some of you may be able to get away with pressing F3 one more time into a different registry. Now, I don't actually have anything in here, but if you do have anything in here that says a VBOX, then go ahead and change that to something believable. Only change friendly name or device description. So after that, we are pretty much done and in under 10 minutes. So just to make sure we did everything correctly, go ahead and press the X button. And we're going to go back to our device manager. Um... Under our disk drives, we have the WD elements uh, 100G. Sorry, guys, I've been talking for a while. I'm kind of tripping over my words right now. Uh, we can see our display adapter, our CD-ROM drive, our uh, mice and other pointing devices all look good. If anybody was snooping around in here, they definitely would not be able to tell that this was a virtual machine. So in our next video, it's going to be really short. I'm going to be going over how to get rid of this little virtual box symbol right here. In VMware, you can right click and get rid of it, but right clicking in virtual box doesn't do anything. So we are going to be going over how to get rid of that in the next part of my virtual box series. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.